Hello, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying the Destination Innovation Virtual Trade Show so far. My name is Corey Weiss, and I'm the Global Product Leader for FlowServe's Butterfly Valve Portfolio. Today, I'll be covering the Hydrogen Economy Flow Solutions. If you think about the industry challenges, the biggest goal is reducing CO2 emissions and decarbonization of the energy sector to mitigate climate change. Both countries, as well as manufacturers, are all outlining targets to do their part in this. The energy transition movement is that pathway and a pivotal change from a fossil base to zero carbon or net zero energy sector. One key component of this transition is hydrogen as an energy source. Hydrogen is becoming an instrumental component of energy transition and a key component of decarbonization of the energy sector. Hydrogen is clean, sustainable, and flexible, and can be produced from fossil fuels or renewable electricity. It is a versatile, safe energy carrier with applications in transportation, power, and as a feedstock for industry, all with zero emissions at point of use. It is a critical part of the pathway towards a zero carbon energy sector. There are a number of key considerations when selecting equipment for hydrogen applications. Hydrogen is a colorless, odorless, flammable gas at ambient environmental conditions, but can also be in the liquid phase for cryogenic applications. Hydrogen is flammable over a much larger fuel-air ratio than that of other common fuels. Because of this, any mixing of hydrogen with air and oxygen has the potential to become volatile. To avoid combustion, oxygen and heat input need to be controlled. Hydrogen has a very low minimum ignition energy when compared to common fuels. This allows a flammable mixture to combust without needing a large ignition source. Hydrogen is the smallest molecule and will permeate through most soft goods, making containment difficult. Hydrogen has a high diffusivity, which allows for the dispersion of hydrogen in open environments. However, hydrogen can still accumulate in pockets around the pipeline. If an ignition source is present and the mixture is in the proper ratio, these areas could combust. Ignition sources can include electrical equipment, process heat, sparks, etc. Hydrogen embrittlement is the process of hydrogen permeating into a metal, causing loss of ductility, cracking, and premature mechanical failure. The possibility of this occurring is a function of the applied stresses, the purity of the hydrogen, and material susceptibility. Low to medium strength alloys decrease susceptibility. A variety of industry standards come into play including those from NACE, EIGA, ASME, API, NASA, ANSI, or AIAA, and ISO, some of which are shown on the screen. Let's talk about the hydrogen value chain. You may have heard of hydrogen referred to by color. These are typically used to reference a particular method of hydrogen production. Today, I'd like to talk about blue, green, and pink hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is a derivative of gray hydrogen, which is an established and proven process and one of the most common methods of hydrogen production today. In both gray and blue hydrogen, steam methane reforming is the process utilized where natural gas serves as the feedstock. From there, hydrogen is split off and purified through pressure swing absorption. What makes this blue hydrogen production is that the CO2 is captured in an acid gas removal unit where gases are passed through rich amine solvent. This captured CO2 is either repurposed for enhanced oil recovery or compression and storage. Green hydrogen and pink hydrogen differ in their energy source. Either renewable, green power, or nuclear, pink, serve as the energy source for electrolysis, separating oxygen and hydrogen from a purified water source. Oxygen is either captured for utilization or released into the atmosphere, while hydrogen goes through air separation and purification before moving to the next stage. Downstream of the production process, hydrogen is stored before distribution, either compressed and liquefied for over-the-road transportation and movement to refueling stations, into fuel cells, or blended with natural gas into existing pipelines. Let's talk about some of the key process areas in green hydrogen and what flow serve products come into play. Electrolysis typically occurs through one of four technologies, alkaline, polymer electrolyte membrane, or PEM, anion exchange membrane, or AEM, and solid oxide. Electrolyte circulation is a critical step in alkaline electrolysis. This is the process of mixing and circulating the liquid electrolyte 
typically potassium hydroxide, with water across a cathode and anode to introduce a reaction under voltage. Another important step as mentioned before is air separation. Gas output may not always end up as a pure gas stream across different technologies. Air separation and purification of hydrogen and oxygen may be required through processes such as pressure swing absorption, where adsorbent beds operate cyclically to clean the gas stream. In green hydrogen, FlowServe has a wide variety of products that can serve these processes areas, from the Argus engineered ball valves to Wooster three-piece and flange designs, Valtech linear and rotary control valves, a comprehensive automation suite including Logix positioners and Limitor linear pneumatic actuators to pumps under the Inamag, Durco, and CE Heritage brands. Next up, I'd like to talk about blue hydrogen. As we discussed before, steam methane reforming, heating methane from natural gas with steam, usually with a catalyst, is the first step in blue hydrogen production. The gas stream is cleaned and hydrogen separating using pressure swing adsorption in cycling operation across adsorbent beds. Finally, flue gases and any CO2 byproduct are passed through a rich amine solvent to absorb any CO2 for capture, utilization, or storage. When it comes to blue hydrogen, FlowServe has a wide variety of suitable offerings. Our isolation portfolio across the Argus, Valbart, and Wooster ball valves as well as our Derco TX3 triple offset butterfly valve are well suited for a number of areas within the process. The entire Valtech portfolio, from linear to rotary valves, as well as severe service trims and our Mark 100 SC anti-surge valve can perform across the process. Our automation portfolio complements our isolation and control valves. And across the Byron Jackson, FlowServe, IDP, and Worthington brands, our pumps also play a role. Finally, let's talk about gas compression, transportation, and storage. Compression and liquefaction are a key part of hydrogen transportation outside of pipelines, where cryogenic liquid tanker trucks or tube trailers come into play. In order to accomplish this, hydrogen must be compressed before transportation, utilizing reciprocating, rotary, ionic, or centrifugal compressors, then liquefaction through pre-cooling and fully cooling through dual Thompson expansion. Another method of transportation can be pipelines, typically operating at lower pressures. When it comes to hydrogen storage, hydrogen can be stored physically as a gas or a liquid, both typically at extremely high pressures. Closer's ball, butterfly, and lubricated plug valves are well suited to isolation and manual operation, and several configurations are also available in cryogenic variants for liquefied hydrogen. In control applications, our camera and valve portfolios, especially the Mark 100 SC anti-surge valve, are extremely helpful in maintaining critical process control. All are complemented by our Logix and Limitor electric and pneumatic actuators. Finally, we can't forget pumps. Our Byron Jackson, FlowServe and IDP pumps, and FlowServe mechanical seals all play a role in hydrogen transportation and storage. So, to bring this all to a close, FlowServe offers a unique advantage to help you in your energy transition objectives. We offer a complete portfolio of flow control equipment, the expertise in assessment, engineering, and implementation, and are our single point of contact for hydrogen applications. Finally, we offer unparalleled service and technical expertise backed by our global network of quick response centers. Thank you all for your time today, and I encourage you to check out many of the other presentations throughout this virtual trade show.